Okay, today we need to we need to complete uh, some concept that we didn't go further or we go deeper and we need to go, we need to really uh, not master but at least uh, manage how to what is the meaning of all this uh, this concept. There are two concepts that I need you to do it. Why? Because you have an assignment for you to hand it to me. Uh, I think we have class tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then next week, okay? I don't think, maybe we'll have time. Maybe we, I don't think we have 15 minutes. We don't have enough time. Okay, we'll, I'm going to start today the, 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 the topic and then we'll continue tomorrow and then during the weekend you have to work on that uh, assignment okay now the two the two topics that I need you to to understand and, and manage is trade-off and the other one is opportunity costs okay I know you maybe you maybe know the meanings and uh, you know the, 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 the definition of each one of those both but when you use it in real life, sometimes it's, uh, it's like, uh, it's real hard to understand it. For instance, let me, let, me, uh, let me show you with an example that I have over here, the concept about opportunity cost, okay? The trade-off definitely is the, is trade-off is what you decided to choose besides the rest of the options that you have. For instance, over, over here, there are some examples of opportunity costs. The first one is that someone give, gives up going to see a movie to study for a test in order to get a good grade. For instance, I think there is an example in the book and we discussed it about this guy that he has some problems in, in the subject govern. I think government, I think is, is the subject. And he has only six extra hours in order to study and reinforce in order to get better in that, that subject. But he has six hours and he has, this, he has to decide whether to spend those six hours with his, with his friends or take some of those hours to study and try to get to, to improve the grades that he has in that subject, okay? And then we... I'm gonna show you, I think you don't remember, but anyway, we, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go over that topic once again. So over here, this, these are some examples. I'm gonna read only three examples. So say someone give up, give, give up going to see a movie to study for a test in order to get a good grade. The opportunity cost, the opportunity is what you didn't get. It's the cost of the movie and the enjoyment you see. So that is the, that is the uh, opportunity cost. And what is the trade? The trade is to stay at home studying. Why? Because you need to get better in that subject. Over here, there's another, another example. At the ice cream parlor, you have to choose between Rocky Road, that's a, a, a flavor, and strawberry. When you choose Rocky Road, and then you trade off the ro rocky, uh, rocky Road, the opportunity cost is the other one that you didn't, you didn't, uh, you didn't eat it. So it's just a strawberry ice cream. Another example, the player attend baseball training to be a better player instead of taking vacations. What is the opportunity cost? Was the vacations and so on. There are several. If you go to Google and type examples of opportunity costs, you will see a lot of examples of this. Now, in order to uh, check these concepts, I'm gonna, let's watch this video. Uh, uh, we'll explain the difference uh, between opportunity costs and trade-off, okay? Let's. Every day, everyone makes a variety of decisions, choosing between two or ten or even hundreds of different possibilities. Actions tend to be the best indicator of preference of what people actually want, but in doing so, people deny themselves other options. This is the essence of scarcity. 
Everyone can't have everything all at once. With every express preference, there exists a next best option, something you would have done if the first option wasn't available. This is called the opportunity cost. Because you do one thing, you've lost the opportunity to do something else. Opportunity costs can be thought of as sort of regret, pain people bear as they imagine what they could be enjoying even if they are enjoying what they are doing right now more. Another way to think about opportunity costs is money value, profit you would have made if you did something else, such as a business venture. Opportunity costs can be understood by accepting these principles. People face trade-offs. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. To exemplify these principles, we will use the following example. It is a Friday night and you have the following options of things to do in the order of how much you want to do them. See a movie with your partner, see a movie with your friends, or study. By putting the partner first, you have already faced the trade-off of friends versus more than friends. How was this trade-off made? By weighing the cost and the benefit. Your benefit in this trade-off is that you may be entering into a romantic relationship rather than simply keeping the platonic ones you already have. But what about the costs? Each of the above options has the cost of time. You only have one Friday night until next week. So for now, you only have time to do one thing. Both of the top two options have added the cost of spending money at the movies. However, the benefits of these options, namely being social and having fun with others, outweigh the costs, so you have placed them above the others. As stated before, for each of your top two options, your opportunity costs include time and money. How do we know this? Because the cost of something is what you give up to get it. Another way to remember this is the same. There's no such thing as a free lunch, which means that there is some built-in costs for everything, so nothing is truly free of charge. For each of the above options, you're spending your time and your money, which could have been used on a multitude of different things. If you choose option one, you miss out on the next best option, meaning by choosing to go to the movies with your partner, you're giving up the opportunity to go to the movies with your friends, and it is therefore an opportunity cost. As with any choice, you get the option you choose and vice versa. Okie dokie. Okay, hold on, hold on. In the video, it's on, okay. Oh yeah, stop it, okay. Okay, guys, now let's move on and let's begin. Uh, and, I mean, let's continue what we left when we had to stop classes here in, uh, here in, uh, in the school because of this, all these problems, okay. Okay, this is not. Let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. This is not. Stop playing. Okay. Okay, I think it's here. Okay, this is the part that I, I'm interested. Okay. Oh, can, can you can you hear me guys yes yes can you watch the can you watch the uh the, the, the yes the screen yes. Okay. yes of course okay now okay now this is uh, this is the um the powerpoint that i that i sent it to you already and we didn't we didn't explain this this section and this section is useful in order for you to do an activity that I want you to do it 
uh, tomorrow or the, over the weekend, okay? Now, the analysis choice. Now, now, first you have to understand that 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 process when you have to decide whether to do what is like, for instance, you have, tomorrow you have a, a, a math test, but you need that, you need to study, you need to study real hard and you have to focus uh, to study, uh, why? Because you need to get a good grade. For instance, I remember when I was studying, like when I was your age, I usually wakes up early in the morning around 3 a.m., something like that. Why? Because those hours for me was work for me and during those hours my, my, my mind is really fresh and I can get, I can understand almost well, everything and, and I think it's easier. Each one of you has different strategy. For me it was waking up very early. So, but the thing is sometimes uh, you have to decide whether to stay at home studying or maybe you have an activity, extracurricular activity, a party, or maybe you, you wanna watch a movie and we usually, usually we need to decide whether to, to do one thing or the other. Now, that's, that you need to, um, you have to, um, you need to make that decision. You need to make that trade off, whether to watch a video or watch a movie or, 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 or go to a party or stay at, home, stay at home studying. Why? Because you need to get a good grade in your next math test okay now it says uh over here it says uh okay this is the example that we studied previous shanti adan did not make their choice randomly rather carefully look at the benefit of both gain and the opportunity cost now over here you use the uh, cost benefit and cost opportunity there are two kind of costs okay and they would incur for their decisions. This practice examines the, the cost and the expected benefit of a choice is an aid to decision making. It's called cost benefits analysis. That's what they did. Cost benefit analysis. Okay, now over here there is an example. Remember, we discussed this already. This guy he need to he, he need he has only six extra hours. But he has to decide whether to spend time with their friends or divide the, 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 the amount of, of, of hours, uh, stay at home studying, and the rest of the hour go and spend some time with their friends. At the end, what he decides, he, he creates this chart. And this is a chart that you need to create over the weekend. Okay, now we have five minutes. Okay. Now you have to do the same thing, this chart, you have to do it with this activity that is over here. Okay, I'm gonna send it again, this activity and some information that I want you to do it. You need to create with this, over here there, there are some uh, information that you need to read it and you need to create something like this. The choice, the benefit and the opportunity costs. You share one question? Yes. This information is in, in the in the book. Of course, everything is in the book. Thank you. All right. Okay, so over here, over here, he says, according to him, he says he spent only one hour. Remember, there are six hours. If he took if he decides, if he decides to stay only one hour, he's going to get D. And D doesn't work for him. And he's gonna spend five hours with the friends, right? Now the other one, if it takes two hours, according to him, he might get a C grade. But he, this, this two doesn't work for him because they both can help him in order to flunk that, uh, that subject. So he needs to get from here to here. So if I were, if I were that student, I would choose staying at home and what is gonna be my opportunity cost? My opportunity cost is gonna be that I won't be able, sorry, I won't be able to spend six hours of time with my friends. And what is gonna be my benefit, my cost benefit is gonna be that I'm going to, oh my God, sorry, 
going to get an A that I need urgently because I'm, I'm, I'm failing this subject. So now over here says cost and benefit change over time. For instance, Max learns that Pine Street states, that's a university or college, the college he wants to attend only consider applicants with 3.4 or better grade points average. So that means that if he gets C or D, it doesn't work for him and he won't be able to get to this place, to this college, okay? If, if he needs to get a B plus or better than, better to raise his GPA to 3.4. So he needs, at least, he needs to take this one. He need to get this one. At least he need to get this one. So it means that he need to spend three hours and the other three extra hours he might use it. He might use it to spend time with his friends. Okay. Uh, what are, okay, here. Okay, so uh, he might decide to spend less time with his friends and study four or five hours per week rather than three. Okay, example. Margin cost and margin benefit. Now, how did Marx arrive to this decision? He explained it. Economists would look at the margin cost and margin benefit. How? Like this. Margin cost is the cost of using one more unit of a good of a service, while margin benefit refers to the benefit or satisfaction received for using one more unit of a good, of a service, okay? Max choice was study three extra hours. So if he studied three extra hours, he need that he's gonna get B. Three extra hours while get, which gave him a B, great at the opportunity cost of three hours with his friends. So, what would be the margin cost of one more hour of study? What would the margin cost of one margin cost? That means that he, he won't have, enough, he's, gonna, he's gonna lose one more hour with his friend, but he's gonna get, the margin benefit is gonna get B. Why? Because he's gonna get this one, B plus, and he need B plus in order to get 3.4 in order to enter to that university. Okay, the analysis of margin cost or marginal benefit is the strength of the study of economy. It helps to explain the decision consumers, producers, or government makes as they try to meet their unlimited wants with limited resources. Now, over here, over here, I need you to think for tomorrow, I need you to think and try to create uh, try to create a, 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 a decision marking grid like this one. You, you're going to use these columns, choice, benefit, and opportunity. In this example, so for every hour you practice basketball, you gain in skills and increase your chances, sorry, chances of making the team. However, each hour you practice is hour you could have spent working on, a, on an afternoon job to save some money for you to do anything, anything you like, okay? So, tomorrow I need you to try to uh, answer this question. I'm going to send it to you, okay? With some uh, information that you needed in order to complete that chart, guys, okay? So, uh, Voy a salir de Zoom para volver a entrar. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Then, then look. Um, 